Welcome back to Airtime with Hikotai, Lesson Number 2, Flight Envelope. Many people will put other things above your plane's flight envelope when teaching about dog fighting. They are not incorrect in doing so, however, I firmly believe that a person's goodwill means nothing without good actions. As such I will be teaching you how to fly first and later how to think. Someone can have the correct decision in a situation, but if they cannot act on that decision they are as good as dead. But, if a person has the ability to make the correct action even without understanding the situation, they can survive. And in War Thunder, survival is the only thing that matters. The flight envelope is best explained as what is possible to do in your plane. All planes are different but abide by the same laws of physics. They are limited by their weight, induced drag, parasitic drag, lift, thrust, altitude, and likely more stuff that I am not intelligent enough to understand. During the series I will give more information on terms in writing, pause the video, if you wish to read them. Every plane in a constant turn will resemble this diagram, this is called the field of maneuver. A fun fact, in John Boyd's aerial attack study, this diagram is upside down without any explanation, as shown right now on screen. The field of maneuver is shaped like an egg because of gravity. When you are at the bottom of a loop, gravity is pulling your plane down, making your lift work harder. When you are on the top of a loop, both gravity and lift work together to make you turn much tighter. Turning parallel to the ground. Known as a flat turn, you will be in a perfect circle, the reason for this is due to the forces not changing, making each second of your turn identical to the last. Turning in diagonal loops will create a mixture between a flat turn and a loop. This creates the egg, it is useful to know, especially as a new pilot, that we are in an egg and not a perfect ball. Now we will learn how to manipulate the egg for our advantage. I will be mentioning John Boyd a lot due to his extensive writing on fighting maneuvers. John Boyd recommends the following, when going downwards or at the bottom of a loop, do not pull up as hard as you can, instead pull up with a constant g-force focusing on increasing speed. This will help you build inertia to fight gravity when you are climbing up. While going up pull the stick as hard as you can, until you start going back down. The speed you have gained plus the lift and gravity will prevent a stall and make your turn at the top much sharper than your opponents. I have to note, this is a more skilled maneuver in the egg, and if not done properly, it will allow the enemy to get their guns on you. An easier way to manipulate the egg and can be combined with Boyd's tactic. When nearing the top of the egg, decrease your engine power. Your engine is wanting to pull you forward, not down. So decreasing your power by a small amount will allow you to turn quicker. Do not decrease your power to zero or idle, that will cause a stall and prevent you from building enough speed going back down. The side effect of decreasing power is that your altitude will drop faster than your opponents, meaning if you do not get guns on target soon, they will have significantly more energy than you. Many pilots like to use flaps, and believe flaps will help them turn faster. While this is true, it is good to understand flaps create drag. As we learned with induced drag, the more lift you have the more drag you have. And flaps create lift. This being said, the most optimal time to use flaps is only when nearing the top of a loop and at the top. When going down a loop or at the bottom, your main goal is to gain speed, so flaps are counterproductive. Unfortunately there are not any interviews I can find with pilots using basic maneuvers their effects in real-world dog fights. This being said, there are multitudes of interviews on more advanced maneuvers. In the lessons to come, there will be a lot less of me teaching and a lot more of the professionals. Thank you for watching, please let me know of any mistakes or errors I have made in the video, or if you have advice on how to improve the videos.